tell us your first and last name. I'm Larry LaFromboise. Hi Larry, so how long have you been here in uh, I Geek area? Just about 10 years now. And you've been doing these hikes for a long time, right? Yeah, for most of those 10 years. Okay, so, so what do we call the hike we're on right now? Oh, uh, this is uh, probably the real novice hike, one of the two real novice hikes. And this, what to follow is the falls. Um, so this is about a half hour hike up from the town road up to the falls to the above it. Uh, this time of year, you get, you get water. Uh, two months ago, when rainy season was just starting, these were dry. So you're able to take your dog Levi with you? Oh, uh, Levi is a real hiker. He <laughs> does not like to be left behind. I can understand. So, so, so tell me a little bit about, about the types of hikes we can do here in the lakeside area. Well, we have... Our club is organized with novice, intermediate, and advanced hikes. And your advanced hikes are typically six hours or so. And the intermediate hikes, typically three hours. Something like this, an hour and a half. Um, so you don't have to be in great shape to go on the hikes, right? Uh, the novice hikes and the intermediate hikes, you should be in <coughs> reasonable shape. And mm. Our advanced hikes will get quite demanding, like six to eight hours and we're going up four or five thousand feet. Um, and just, just so we don't put too many people off, we want to be accurate, but uh, what would you say the average age of the people in the hiking group is? Mm, probably around 65. All right. Okay. I got 10 years on them. <laughs> you have 10 years on them. How old are you? 75. My goodness. Well, you, you fooled me and I'm sure you fooled everyone else <laughs> just looking at this. What's he do to all that hiking? Yeah. Keeps you in shape. Well, very th thank you, Larry. Appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. <laughs> My pleasure. Here we Bye. are now. Well, okay, this is the power. This is the, the main falls. There's the two streams that come together. Falls from that one and falls from this one. Together they go to, to that lower falls that we're at. You know. So this is, on the weekend, very busy. Lots of people come up, spend a few hours. You said even like grandmas would come up here, right? Oh, you get, yeah, all ages. <laughs> but a lot of young people. For sure. And this is, uh, this is a destination for a lot of people that this is far enough as far as we're concerned. Right. Can, low, this is, you know, just the beginning. Beautiful. From here, we got trails, various trails going up into the hills. There's about a 3,000 foot elevation. The and how, what kind of elevation are we at here? Um, well, the lake's just about 5,000 feet. Yes. So, what if we come up here? A couple hundred feet, maybe? All right. Very good. We got a ways to go. Um, yeah. Like you say, the sky's the limit, but once you get off up to the ridge on the top, <laughs> then you walk along the ridge. Let's go. Here we are at the heart of Topolo Falls with Larry and Levi. And Levi is the one with the four legs and two young ladies. Hola! Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Here we are sort of at the heart of it, as Larry says. We have a little pool there. There's a here. And uh, the next step to Dizzy. And in the far distance, if I step by here a little bit, you can see Lake Chapala. And this is only about 40 minutes walk from uh, from where the trail starts, right off the Keretera in uh, So Larry's going to give us a, uh, tell us what we're looking at over here. Sure. Um, like the, the, behind us, the, the hills are generally about 3,000 feet above lake level. Lake level is about 5,000 feet. Uh, the one over there is uh, Garcia, and it's about 4,000 feet above them. So it's a, it's a little bit higher up than than the other hills around the lake, and it's uh, it, it's there's a good hike up. It's about four hours up, two hours down, so six or seven hours by the time you take a spend some time at the top. Um, so what else we're looking at over here? So 
and a little farther over the hills r opposite uh, Hokotepec. Uh, it's called Coyote. Ma um, I don't know, Cerro Coyote. And then around the around the backside, um, second range of hills is the sort of the highest in the area. Again, it's 5,000 feet above the 5,000 foot uh, lake, so you get into uh, some more demanding hikes scaling that. It's quite steep on the way up. A few. Do they get snow up there? 10,000 feet. Um, a little. Yeah, I think I've probably seen weight stuff on the top there. There's usually a cloud hiding it. This is a, this is a beautiful view. Yeah. So right, there, it looks like there we see the church. You see, I can see the steeple. Yeah. And which means it's a, that's pretty much the center of town. That would be where the this town square is, directly yeah. in front of us. Yeah. Beautiful. Town square a little bit to the, to the right of the church steeple. So this is the trail that Larry tells me will wind up two blocks west of Donaldson. You could see, is this uh, north of the Caretera and uh, Ahihik? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. And in the distance, what, what do we see over there? That, would that be La Floresta or? Further away. You can see the roof of Walmart. <laughs> you can see the Walmart roof? Yeah. Which is a, uh, a place that people look for. That's the other side of the lake. And here you see the beautiful town of Ahihik. So here we are doing our uh, our walk up in the mountains just above Ahihik. And what do we see? Larry's got Levi there. We already passed these cows. Levi's a little scared of the cows. <laughs> uh, don't decorate me. Uh, <laughs> oh, there they go. There's the other one. Okay, Levi, everything's good. Cows are under control.